These are the brand new Costco Kirkland Signature Plus Golf Ball 2.0 but they're a little bit more expensive than the previous version. Are they still value for money? Are they better than last year's model? And are they good enough for your game? Let's find out, and let's do it now. Hi everyone, my name's James Robinson, and welcome to this YouTube channel. Guys, in today's video, Chris, you've been shopping. I have. Thank you. It's not very often you bring presents, but I I'm, went round. I'm really looking forward to this. So these are the brand new Costco 2.0 golf ball. Yeah. We know just how popular the standard Kirkland Signature Plus golf ball was. Yes, pound ball. Pa well, and these are a little bit more, aren't they? They're a little bit more than, what, they're £30 for two dozen? Yeah. It's a little bit over. It's a little bit, but not too much. Inflation, you could say. Some could say that, yes. Chris, you see that boat over there? Oh, what a beautiful place we are today is we are Archerfield Lynx Golf Course on the Fidra course and we're talking balls. We certainly are. Signature hole as well to go with a signature ball. Check that out. Chris, I'm going to give you the honour here. We're going to play a few holes and we're going to jump over to your channel for today, but same again. I lost that one. That's all over it as well. Come on. Come on. Guys, if you want to see us test this golf ball against the previous Costco golf ball, get in the comments below and let us know, because Costco was still selling the previous golf ball when we bought this. So is it worth spending that extra couple of pound, or should you just buy the original one? Depends your budget. It does. I'm keen to see people's thoughts on this. Right, Chris. 145 yards, eight iron. Eight iron, yeah. Let's flight one in. Ooh, that is all over it. How's a one? I'll tell you what. Oh, did that? I think that might have just, has it gone long, but it looked like it lipped out at one point. I think it's gone long. I struck it well though. <laughs> Take the positives. So it is still a three piece golf ball. The story behind the new ball guys is we have a thinner urethane cover and a larger core. So this is gonna be interesting to see, does it still feel great? Does it still perform great? And like I said earlier, is it still excellent value for money? I'm gonna hit an eight iron as well. Have I got a tee peg? No. And one of the big things for me as well is can I flight it down if I want to and manufacture golf shots? The urethane cover should allow us to do so. It's a premium cover for a fairly budget ball. Can we take advantage here? Oh, come in. I blocked that. Oh, that's not going to be an easy shot there, is it? Not at all. Right, guys, certainly not the best start there, but uh, I suppose things can only get better. So, guys, it's probably a great time to say if you are new to the channel, welcome. Make sure you do consider hitting that subscribe button if you do enjoy daily golf-related videos. And me and Chris are quite passionate about budget golf equipment, about budget golf balls, because it kind of brings great performance to the masses rather than having to spend 10, 15 pound for a sleeve of three. I really enjoyed, are you right there? There's not enough room in my pencil bag for all this. Ah, oh, well. I really enjoyed the first version of these and I've been mega, mega, mega keen to get hold of the second ones. Good job you didn't bring two dozen. <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> And especially when you do see the performance that you can get with the initial Kirkland golf ball, these could be perfect, especially for the price. Almost as perfect as this golf hole. So that is the island with the inspiration behind Treasure Island, I do believe. Bit of knowledge for you there. Just full of facts, aren't you? Yeah, useless knowledge. Right, that's certainly not the best shot. And guys, Chris has done a few videos here already at Archfield Links. And you've actually done a video on this hole, haven't you? Showing people how to play it. So go over there and check it out if you want. So you've got to decide here, is it in the air or on the ground? And it's unheard of and unseen on this channel, but James has gone on the ground. Sit, sit. It's a bit of a runner. That's not too bad from there, to be fair. It wasn't a lie that I fancied, Chris, if I'm being honest. No, it wasn't. Very tight around the edge of the greens. You can see there's a lot of runoffs. That is Lynx Golf. James, it's not Golf ball Lynx. felt great, though. I quite enjoyed that. Soft? Yeah, very soft. And guys, if you want to see us not only compare this against a previous Costco ball, but also against maybe a Pro V1, a TP5, just get the numbers on it, then get in the comments below and let us know, and we'll do it for you next week. Promise. Right, one of the big factors when choosing your golf ball is how it feels with a putter. So this is going to be interesting. Is it soft enough for what we want? I 
I do feel good off the face. I've got a white hot face though, so soft face. I did feel soft off it. Actually, gone deaf. Oh, sorry, did you, what did you expect that given? I heard the sound of it rattling home. Right, left to right, this. Oh. Yeah. You know what's interesting for me? I looked down at this ball, that's one down with a bogey, but I looked down at this ball and it looks no different to the previous one. So the cover looks exactly the same, the Kirkland looks the same, and even down to this, kind of on the side, the side stand, that looks exactly the same. There's no kind of 2.0 on there. I do hope they've not just changed the packaging. <laughs> Well, what have they done for an extra 25 pence a ball? I've just worked it out. Mathematician. Right, not the best start. Certainly can't blame the ball for that. Let's jump on the next tee, see if we can resurrect this match and talk more balls. So guys, the really interesting thing for me here with the Kirkland Signature Performance Plus 2.0 is the golf balls that it would actually come up against pound for pound, Chris, because at just over a pound of ball, we're talking Shrixon AD triple three, we're talking Titleist, Soft feel, true feel, true feel, and then we're also talking the tailor made tour response. Tour response, they're a, li they're a little bit more actually, they're more 40 pounds a dozen. Oh, right, so, yeah. like, how good does it have to perform for people to think, you know what, for the budget, it gives me everything I want? It's a three piece tour performance ball similar to a Pro V1. Yeah, and so far, feels good off everything. So Can right. we just say what a few golf holes this is, guys, at Archfield Links? Very, very lucky to be up here filming this week. Yes. In heaven, we could very say. Nice. And the sunshine in Scotland. Not many days a year. Same in England. Right, let's see how it flies with the driver. Nice. Put him back. Not bad there. Is that your line or is it a little bit left of that? It might be a little bit left of that. That is touching the cloth, oh, is some it? would say. Does it kind of cut little, in then? Yeah, a little bit of a dog leg. That bush comes in to play. Right, let's see what kind of performance we can get out of this driver because I'm really enjoying driver at the moment. I'm enjoying trying to smash it off the tee. It's a good Keep flight. Going. I reckon that's safer than yours, isn't it? There. That's definitely opened up the hole. Right, Couldn't we'll be yeah. further away from each other. And interestingly guys, for me one of the big factors here is the price point, so if you do lose a couple of golf balls but you do want the ultimate performance for yourself, for your game, is this the best kind of ball or have you found something better? If you have guys, let us know in the comments and while you're down there, leave us a like on this video so that we know you're enjoying us talking a load of balls. My ball just up here on the left hand side, Chris is up looking over there, I'm not sure, oh, he's, I've got the thumbs up, that's, uh, that's not, uh, not ideal, I thought I had him, 124 to the front. So that's about 115 to the front from here. Into a wind, as you can imagine out here on a linksy style golf course. And again, for me, the big factor when choosing a golf ball, obviously is price, but it's can I play the ball down if I want to kind of kind of manufacture shots with it. That urethane cover, as I've already said, should help that. Can I move this twig? Yep, I can. Wind's into off left. I'm gonna chip a nine iron up there. I'm gonna try and keep it down. Oh, be good. Be good. Ah, that felt good as well. I'm surprised that's finished short. And you see, guys, when we are talking about the material that the cover's made out of, that helps the initial launch of the golf ball. With it being urethane, it means it's going to launch a little bit lower, then the spin's going to bring the ball up in the air. Whereas if it's a different material, a cheaper material, such as Ionima, then the ball generally launches higher straight off the bat. So you don't really get that element of control. Ah, uh, this rough, I need it to go a little bit higher. I know James saying, can we fly it? But here, I need a landing angle, but also want to see how does it react off of wedges? Do they get scuffed any easier or any less? Ball. The wind has absolutely battered that out there. Well, we shall certainly... It didn't seem to get to the top of its flight, did it, that one? No, it certainly got knocked by the wind, but we'll certainly give it a test around the greens. And the interesting thing... And the interesting thing for me here, guys, is if they have made a thinner cover, as Chris said, is it going to be as durable, but also are you going to keep that control in the height of its flight? Because that didn't seem to be a bad shot until it um, got into the wind. Right, guys, not an ideal place that I've left myself here, down in a little bowl. 
Uh, and the three wood didn't work so well for me last time. I'm going to resort back to, we're not going to go lob wedge, we're going to go sand wedge, although this is such a, a tight sandy lie. Oh, go on, check. I enjoyed that a lot. That felt as good as any premium ball as well, in fairness. Ooh, big shout. That was absolutely nipped as well. Go in. Oh, lovely shot. Very good. Can I have it out, please? I need this to not go too down. Ooh, I thought up. that was missing, but I'm going to take it. Signed and that's up. still still one down, unfortunately. So I knew it. So guys, has anyone tried this golf ball yet? Is anyone still using the previous one? And if anyone has moved on to this one, can you tell a difference? Because I think if you put these two balls on a table or anywhere, you just wouldn't be able to tell a difference at all by looking at them or maybe even playing with them as well. Right guys, so we've gone par three, par four, now par five, 453 stroke index 10. Now we need a straight drive down here also a long drive so can the costco kirkland signature plus 2.0 provide us with that chris i'm gonna let you maintain the honor oh thank you very much even though it's your honor anyway so i don't need to let you maintain it at all it's towards that bunker i think is it yes i think it's come back down to you it kind of not the best of strikes for the driver i've not really got a true test of it yet you know Oh, that's, that's massive. That's a cracking That shot. fell exceptionally good as well. Right, I think it's fair to say that drive could have put the cat well and truly amongst the pigeons. I should be able to get on in two from here now. Can we throw a birdie at Chris, maybe even eagle, and get back to level? Guys, stay tuned, let's see what we can do. So far, I'm quite enjoying this golf ball. I think still for the price, they've thrown a little bit more on it, but everything's going up in price that little bit at the moment, isn't it? So, can't really complain too much. Oh, it is. Is that your line as well? That's your line. Oh. And that could be one of the best drives I've hit in a very, very, very long time. 153 front from the middle of the fairway here. I'm going to hit. Uh, downwind, I'll be hitting a nine for yourself. 153, I think it's eight. Yeah, let's go an easy eight. Make sure you get near the green. Seagull in your backswing. I've not hit that very well, but I reckon it's up there. Oh, right, I've missed another green. Fair enough, fair enough this is a par five, but uh, that wasn't a great shot at all. And again, can't blame the ball, that was just a bad strike. Who's closest? Your closest, mate. Oh, is that what you wanted me to say? This is an awful flag position as well. Look at that on that ledge. This is going to take a proper shot to get close and make birdie. Great distance. I thought that was going to go more left. Right, I'll take that. Oh, go on. Get up. Get up. Ooh. Right, for a birdie to get back to level, regards par, and to not go two down. Sorry? Two down with two to play. Oh, he's got it. Side door. Oh. Looked like it had stopped. It did, didn't it? Wonderful. Beautiful roll. Well done. Chris, that's one up going to part two over on your channel. I'm expecting one stop and drop yeah. in the hole. Hole in one. Hoyo a uno. And uno. Oh, so close there, wasn't I? Because that was off my head as well. Right. We've probably not done them justice, actually, today, but same again. I lost that one. That's all over it as well. Come on. Come on. And that is the Costco Kirkland Signature Performance Plus 2.0. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed that. If you have, smash that subscribe button below and leave us a like. Apart from that, guys, huge thanks to the guys at Archfield Links for hosting us. And I'll see you all at the same time tomorrow. Bye.